All right. Good morning, class. Today we're going to be talking about this story called Bear's Tale. And we're going to work on figuring out the meaning behind some of the book. So I'm going to ask you some questions to think about it before we actually start reading it. What do you think this book is going to be about and why? So turn and talk to your partner. What do you think this book is going to be about and why? Do you think this is a fiction or a non-fiction text? And why? Tell your partner. What would this book be good? What would this, oh, well, we don't have to do that question because I showed you the title, so we can skip that one, okay? So, we know that this is, it looks like it is a fiction book because it has drawings and stuff. So that kind of helps me know it's a fiction book. Also, it doesn't really look like a nonfiction book. Usually nonfiction books have pictures. I'm not sure what's going on. It looks like a story between fox and bear. So let's keep on going and see what happens next. All right. What is the setting for this story? So tell your partner what is the setting. All right, take a moment, moment and explain what is happening in this picture. All right, now for our next part of the story, what do you think is happening in the picture on the right? Think about the setting in this picture. How has it changed? And if you need more time, you can pause in between questions. How has the setting changed between the two pictures? Let's go back. Look at the setting here and look at the setting here. <gasps> All right. So what does the change in the setting tell the reader? All right, so I know that it looks like Fox went fishing in the story here. It also, it looks like the season has changed. So it means that there's been some time between the two parts of the story. So there's been a change in seasons because seasons change every three months. And in the first picture, it looks like it's it could be fall or even it could be spring or summer. We can't really tell, but it looks like it became winter, and we know that. So let's continue on. What do you think is happening here in the picture? Tell the story in your own words what you think is happening in this picture. All right. How would you describe the fox in this picture? Look at Fox's face. Look at what's going on. What words would you use to describe the bear? Look at what's going on here with the bear. All right. What do you think happened to bear and why? All right, now we have read the book using the pictures and figure out what we think is going on. Now we're going to go back and actually read the book and see what the story says and learn about the story. So today we're going to read about Bear's Tale. And here is our vocabulary words. Bragged. That's when somebody says that they are so good and they're so good at this and so good at that. Caught like you caught a fish, yanked. Oh, have you ever taken a toy away from somebody? That means you yanked it away from them. You took it really quickly. All right, and here are our sight words. We have the word any, about, and many. Let's look for those sight words in the book today. Let's continue on. 
Now, as we read, I'm going to give you a few seconds to read. So when I flip to a new page, I want you to pause it and read this story page to yourself. And then unpause it and listen to me read it to you before I ask you any questions. All right, so now pause it and read it to yourself and see if you can figure out what the hidden word is before we read it. So go ahead and pause it and read it to yourself. All right, so let's see. What could this word be? Bear blank to talk. Hmm. Go ahead and shout out some of your answers to your partner if we're online. Now let's see. We're going to move the letter off. <gasps> Starts with an L. What does your answer start with an L? Let's keep going and see what this word is. L-I. Does your answer start with an L-I? All right, let's see. <gasps> Bear liked. And that E-D sound changes how the ending of the word sounds. Liked. To talk to fox. Oh, I added a word. I shouldn't do that. Let's reread it and fix it. Bear liked to talk. Bear talked about is the sight word. The sky and the snow. He talked about the lake and the trees, but most of all, Bear loved to talk about his long brown tail. Hmm. Let's see. Bear was very blank of his tail. Hmm. What word could go in that blank? Go ahead and tell your partner. Let's see. <gasps> Does your word start with a P? Let's see what the word is. <gasps> Bear was very proud of his tail. Bears have the best tails, he told Fox. Fox tails are too short. Fox was tired of hearing Bear brag about his tail. Hmm. How do you think Fox feels right now? All right, let's see. What do we think is going to happen next? Take a moment, pause it, and read this to yourself and see if you can figure out the missing word. One blank day, Bear saw Fox eating fish near the lake. Let's see. One. A word that starts with W. One. Hmm, let's use some clues from the picture. A word that starts with W. One. Winter day. Bear saw Fox eating a fish near the lake. That fish looks good, Fox, said Bear. He waved his furry tail. How did you catch it? The lake is covered with ice. Fox watched Bear wave his long tail. He thought about the times Bear blank about his tail. Hmm, what could go in that blank? Let's see. Something with a B. He thought about the times the bear bragged about his tail. He thought about the times bear said that fox tails were too short. Hmm. What do you think bear is up to? Take a moment, pause, and read to yourself. All right, let's see if we can figure out the missing blanks. Then Fox thought of a blank to play on bear. Hmm, what do we think that word is? Does your word start with a T? R, a T-R, what word could it be? Let's see. 
Then Bear thought of a trick to play. Oh, I misread that. I gotta fix it. Sometimes we all make mistakes and we have to go back and fix them. So let's reread that. Then Fox thought of a trick to play on Bear. I caught this nice fish with my tail, Fox told Bear. I made a hole in the ice and put my tail in the hole. Hmm, what do you think could go wrong with putting your tail in the ice? Tell your partner. I will do that too, cried Bear. My tail is blank than yours. Hmm, what word could go there? Does your word start with an L? O? L O. Let's see. <gasps> my tail is longer than yours. I will catch many fish with my tail. Mm, what is Bear doing? I think he's bragging again. That's not very nice. Take a moment, pause, and read this page to yourself. Bear made a hole in the ice and put his tail in the hole. Bear sat on the ice for a long time. He kept his tail in the cold water, but he didn't catch any fish. Bear felt cold and, what do you think the word is? H? Hmm, what word could that be? Let's keep on going. U? I don't know what it is. Let's see. Bear felt cold and hungry. Mm -hmm. At last, Bear knew Fox had tricked him. Bear was... What word could go in the blank? Let's see. A? N? Let's see. Bear was angry. He yanked his long tail from the water, but his tail had, hmm, what do you think that is? His tail had blank in the icy lake and it snapped right off. <gasps> Let's see what that word is. His tail had, F-R, <gasps> his tail had frozen in the icy lake and it snapped right off. No, let's see. I wonder how Bear feels right now. It says that he feels... That's right, Bear feels very angry. What do you think he's going to do to that fox? All right. Let's see. Read this page to yourself. Bear was sad. He missed his long, hmm, what word could go there? Blank tail. He missed his long, oh no, the bubble's not moving. I guess you guys are going to have to make up a word to go in there. He missed his long furry tail, maybe. Or he could say his long brown tail because it describes how his tail is. He missed his long furry tail. He learned a lesson that day. Nobody likes a bear who brags. Now let's practice retelling this story. In the beginning, what happened? Next, so let's go back to the beginning. In the beginning, use the pictures to retell the story. What happened here in the beginning? Tell your partner. In the beginning, Bear bragged all about his tail. Next, hmm, what's happening here? Next, Bear or next, Fox 
Tell your partner what happens next. Then, then, what could be then in our retail? Oh, I see one right here in the sentence I could use. Then Fox thought of a trick to play on Bear. After that, tell me what happened after that. And finally, how did the story end? Think of how to tell me that. All right, now make sure you've turned and talked to your partner and did your retail. Now, turn and talk to your partner and what lesson did the bear learn? That's right, if we go back to the story, it says, Bear learn, nobody likes a bear who brags. That's right, nobody likes it when people brag. All right guys, you did a great job. I'm so glad you came and was part of our lesson today. So we did our reading lesson and I'm gonna let you listen to the R sound. We're gonna listen to the bossy R vowels. So R says R like a pirate. So we're gonna listen to the bossy R song and if you want to, you can write down all the R words you can do. So let's see. Let's do the bossy R song. So we did the bossy R and we're going to close this and you could write down some weird, you could make a foldable and you could write down the ER bossy words. You could write the IR bossy words or the UR bossy words. So you can make a foldable and do this with your mom or dad or we could stop here. So I want to thank all of you for joining me today. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. I'm so glad all of you joined me today to practice your reading. So keep on reading 20 every day and I will see you tomorrow.